Hey everybody, it's DKRX, and welcome back to another episode of Mardek Chapter 3. In the last episode, we revisited some places we saw in Chapter 2, and more importantly, we found out the list of ingredients for the shaman that we need to grab so we can get an underwater breathing potion. And in this episode, we're gonna go, uh, we're alone this time, so we're gonna go see, uh, Elwyn, uh, near Lake Quir here. So let's take a look. Hello. Hey, Elwyn. Well, hello there. Hmm? Mardek! I'm so happy to see you, Mardek! Ugh, your armor's all cold and hard. Anyway, Mardek, guess what? Guess what? Well, what is it? Guess, go on. Uh, you finally got yourself a boyfriend? What? No, I'd never. I'm saving myself for you. <laughs> for years later, for when I'm older, you see? No, it's not that. I'm 17 now. It was my birthday yesterday. How could you forget, Mardek? I told you like a million times. I thought we were friends. Oh, uh, oh yeah, I remember now. Well, since I'm 17 now, you better remember what you said ages ago. Remember that promise that you that I could come with you on adventures when I was 17? I don't remember saying that. Well, you did, Mardek. So can I please come with you? I've been training so hard every day and I've been waiting for ages. I I miss you so much when you're gone. I, so I don't want that anymore. And and I could be a great help to you too. Don't forget. Well, it's really dangerous. I know, you keep telling me, but I don't care. I just want to come with you. Even if I came and something terrible happened to me, I'd be so happy knowing that I was with you when it happened. I didn't. I don't have anything to live for at all here in this boring village life, though. You know that. My parents are still frozen there with those expressions that are already so, that are already so clearly ingrained in my memory. I feel so lonely all the time. I have Gloria, and her parents look after me really well, but I still can't get rid of this longing. I want to come with you, Mardek, not just because I love... Um, because you're my friend, but all, but also because I want to find out if possible, find out if it's possible to cure my parents. All those years ago, that girl who was with you said it was impossible. And even Gloria, who's the new shaman, can't cure them. But there must be some cure out there somewhere in the world. And I've read books, and they say that any magical effect that can be caused can also be cured. So, um, let me come with you, Mardak, please. Well, I did promise you, apparently. And you do seem to have thought about this a lot, so... Okay, you can come. Really? You mean it? For serious? Oh, yeah, Lord. Thank you, Mardek, so much. I'll be the best party member you've ever had. I'll show you. Um, I should probably go back to Canonia, though, and tell my parent, tell Gloria and my parents that I'm going. I should probably get some supplies and stuff, too. So, um, can you meet me in my house in Canonia in a few minutes? See you in a bit, Mardek. Well, that's sweet. Let's go take a look at her and, and uh, see what she's like. It was very sweet that uh, she did stay or stay all this time and just wait for us, but who knows? Maybe she'll be a good party member. I don't know. Hello. Yay, Marduk, are you here? I'm ready now. Let's go without delaying anymore. Bye-bye, Mr. Gloria's dad and Mr. Gloria's mom. Thank you so much for looking after me since, well, since my own parents. Um, well, I don't know what I would have done without you. You be good now, Ellie. Don't be a bother to Marduk and look after yourself properly. Make sure she does, sir, won't you, sir, Marduk, dear? Well, I'll do my best, ma'am. Yes, come on now, Marduk. I'm etching for some adventure at last. All right. So Gloria or Elwyn is. Oh my God, she's level seven. Oh gosh. Um. So she plays a uh, a harp, which is actually sort of good, actually. Um. So it has damage plus ten percent, dark minus fifty, and it's effective against undead. She has sheet music, which allows her to learn spirit song. She has this minstrel's tiara, which has survivor. Uh. Only usable by Elwyn though, which is too bad. I don't know what this survivor does. She has a, uh, a fancy magic blouse, uh, which has magic, or oh, damage minus 10. Lapis beads, which have evasion 50%, and gold ring, which is damage minus 10. Um, I'm real sorry to do this to you, Gloria, but like, I'm gonna, or Elwyn, I'm gonna like take those, and then uh, we're gonna head to the nearest save point and uh, drop you off, I think. Unless she's got, no, she doesn't have any items on her, which is too bad. Uh, so we're gonna go switch party members, and we're gonna just put him there, put her there, put him there. Solar, sorry. Elwyn, I'm sorry. You guys are just, like, super weak, mostly. Although, I did, I, I do like these lapis beads. They have, oh, but they're only usable by Elwyn, so, uh, gonna throw those in the item storage, I think. Same thing with this, and with that, and with that, and with that. See ya. <laughs> All right, we have back. We have back our normal party now. 
I did. I, I, I wasn't really planning on using Elwyn, um, but I did want to see that little cinematic and add her to the party. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I will find a, a use for her but right now. I, uh, I don't really want to use her, unfortunately. Hello, Gloria. Oh, hello there, Marduk. Fancy seeing you here. It's been a while. Ellie's been talking about you talking about you a lot, you know. You should probably go and talk to her if you haven't already. But if you do, I suggest you go alone. You know how gets you you know how she gets when you know how bothered she gets when she sees you with other people, the silly girl. You can probably find her at Lake Quir. She's been spending a lot of time there, just sitting near the crystal statues of her dead parents. It's actually really, really creepy. But I'm supposed she's mentally just disturbed. Did you come to me for a specific reason though? Well how have you been? It's nice of you to ask Marduk, I've been doing alright, actually. Turns out that I was always destined to be the next shaman of Canonia. As you know, so when the others died, bless her, I had to take her place. It's coming really naturally to me, and yes, that was a pun, but you might not get it. And it's really fun. Um, I'm glad to be helping the people like I've always wanted to. Not that they really had not that they really need much help around here. There's not there's not there's not been any bother at all since that incident with the cloud thing. Which you did an amazing job of saving us from, which I might add, Sir Knight, I feel I feel proud to know you. Do you know anything else? Well, do you know anything about the elemental crystals? I do. It's my duty as a shaman to know these things. However, it's a secret knowledge that I want to share with you casually. Um, well, I want to... I don't know if this changes anything, but I would like to see, um, what it's like if I have just Elwyn in my party. How, if she reacts differently. That'd be interesting to know. Alright, hello. Oh, hello, Ellie. Fancy seeing you with Marduk like this. Yeah, me and Marduk are adventure buddies right now. He's finally let me come tag along with him on his adventures. Oh, really? That sounds fun for you. I'm glad. You've been wanting this for a while. Uh, it'll probably get really dull around here without you, though, Ellie. It's dull enough as it is, since nobody ever needs the help of a shaman around here. Hey, um, I've got a great idea. If I took it with Marduk, uh, um, maybe Gloria could come with us. She's a powerful shaman now, after all. She'd be a great ally. Really? You want me to come along with you? Would that be alright with you, Marduk? Well, I don't want you getting hurt. And don't the people here need you as a shaman? Like I said, there's not much call for a shaman around here. Nobody ever comes to me, but nothing ever happens. At least... And, and the last time something did happen, you came here without to, you came here to do something about it, Sir Knight. So even if I came with you, I ended up helping them in their times of actual need. Also, I'm no mere fragile child that you need to protect. I'm a shaman, granted extensive magical powers by the planet itself. I can take care of myself. So what do you say? Please, Marduk, Gloria's nice. It'd be ever so much fun if she could come. Well, questioning, questing like I do isn't about fun. But if she really wants to come, she can come, yes. Yippee! Thank you, Marduk. This means a lot to me. I'll be, I will also be great for my development as a shaman. I hope to learn a lot in my travels. But Ellie, I'm surprised you want me to come along with you and Marduk since, you know... Oh, I know there's only magic between you and... Wait. Oh, I only I know the, the only magic between you and Marduk will be to restore hit points or status. I'm not bothered. <laughs> I see. Anyways, now Marduk, where exactly are we headed? What are, you questing this, what are you questing for this week? Well, I'm looking for the elemental crystals. We have to find them for the king. What? That's... I don't know if I can be a part of that. It would disturb the order of nature immensely. And what exactly does the king intend to do with them? I've only heard rumors that he's been acting a bit iffy recently. Worry not. We know the king is possessed by, um, an evil entity which seeks the crystals. He has orders to find them, but we don't intend to do as he says. We mean to find the crystals for ourselves so that he doesn't get his hands on them. The king is possessed? Oh my, this is awful. Has nobody tried to exorcise the demon? Or if there is no alternative to slay the king? That would be a bad idea. We'd become one to criminals if people assumed we'd slain and divide the real king. Besides, we'd rather not fight or miss our misled cards. Ah, I see your dilemma, and I understand. I'll certainly come with you, and I can see now that it'd be a really good idea to do so. I can keep an eye on the crystals and see that you don't do anything stupid with them. Not that I can imagine you doing anything with stupid with them, Sir Knight. Now let's go, but do you know where we're headed? Do you know where the crystals are? Well... I know there's one place called Lifewood on the Feng, east of Aeropolis. It's the Earth Crystal, and we'll definitely find it there. So we should probably go there. We could also visit Aeropolis. I've heard there's some great shops there. Oh, and if, we tr if we're to travel together, there's something else I want to show you, Marduk. I've already taught Elwyn how to, sh how to do it, and it's a really useful skill that I'm sure we'll be able to use at some point in our adventures. Ooh, do you mean the Dream Circle stuff? That's neat. You really like it, Marduk. And we'll, like, totally be in our dreams together. Not that that's a rare thing for me, mind you. Um, yes. Anyway, the dream circles. Yes, that's what I mean. There's a special cave where the old where the old shaman took me to learn this skill. And it's where I took Ellen too. We should probably head there as soon as we can. It's just north of Canonia. Now, I've marked this place in your world map, so let us be off at last. And Gloria has joined has also joined our party. And she Oh my god, she comes in the Emerald Bangle? Yo, that's great. 
a shaman's vestment that is not super useful because I think we already have most of that stuff. A feather crest. This is M damage plus 20, uh, which is probably pretty good. And then the earth staff, which we actually already have. Um, real sorry, Gloria. Gonna like just do that. <laughs> I feel so bad stripping these people of all of their like of all of their good stuff. Uh, let's throw um, Donovan and Sharla back in our party, and Sisnek, and you guys can kind of hang out if that's cool. Um, so let me. I'm just gonna check to see if we have any skills that we should learn. So one second. Okay, so I gave Mardek um, the Feather Crest because it increases uh, magic damage dealt by 20%. Um, I'm not sure if it will actually work with Marduk because the only magical attack he has right now uh, is, is heal. Um, and I might be able to use a reaction for that, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to try it and battle and just see if, if it'll work. Um, so I'd like to head uh, to that place that, yeah, that, uh, uh, that Gloria said about this dream cave here. Hello. Okay. I assume we probably have to have Gloria in our party, so I'm going to switch out somebody for Gloria. Uh, just temporarily. Oh, this is not the right screen. We want to go switch party members. I'm going to switch out um, to Snack for Gloria. And we're going to check this out. Uh, oh, oh. Ah, here it is. The Dream Realm. You might find it a bit difficult to get used to here at first. With what, what with the mind soup being very distracting. But, um... We might look like ourselves here, but we're actually mental projections of how we think of ourselves as being. Most people are so used to their physical body that it's what they look like. But here, but, um, Marduk, I feel like you've been hiding some things from us. Hmm. Uh, yes, it would be convenient. It was the convenient material has been removed, alas. An Anukai, a gasp from me, full of astoundment and shockism, unexpected, unknown. Uh, what do you hear? Do why are you here, dog like person thing? I thought only Ellie and I, and now uh, Marduk, could do this. I'm quite at home within the dream realm. I have traversified here to many time prior. Fig walking is second nature to my ilk. Hmm, okay then. And Ellen's here because I taught her the techniques to get her here. And I can see them as strange about you though, Mardek. I can see why you're able to travel with us here without training. Yes, my kind are used to this too. Seems humans are rarities for having to learn. And actually, you can call me Roth. I am not Mardek. I'm a companion of his. Of a sort. I assure you I have nothing to worry about when I merely granted powers due to a childhood incident. It is how he is able to heal. I see. I always wondered about that. I will accept you as you are for now, and since Mark doesn't talk openly about you, then I will follow suit and keep your secret, if that's how, if that's what it is. I don't know what to think about you anymore, Mardek. Or, um, not Mardek, or whatever you are. I don't know if I'll look at you the same way ever again. And where is Mardek now anyways? He is here, but I'm afraid that he lacks the mental ability to manifest in any form in this realm, which is why I shall be taking his place here. Anything I learn will be transferred to his mind when we return to the world of soils and stars. Right, um, good then. Now that we're here, I suppose we, I don't really need to show you anything if you already know how to do this. So let's do the other thing I want to bring you in here for. This cave is really sketchy because not enough people have thought about it. And as you surely know, everything in the Dream Realm, which is a lower subset of the Fig Realm, is comprised of mind stuff and made of whatever sentient minds think thoughts. Towns and houses are usually pretty detailed, because people can remember and analyze their details. But places like this are thought of as more general layabouts. Uh, nobody, nobody thinks about things like the individual stones. I've always found it really fascinating how things linger here. Like if a house was to be lived in for years and thought about a lot, an image of it would appear. But if it was knocked down in the material, it would take a long time for it to fade here. Because minds remember it of being there more than they remember it of not being there. Anyways, I'm probably just nattering on about magic to a magus. So I'll get on to the point. This cave is shaped by me and used by me for storing things since I became the shaman. There's a special talisman deep inside that I want to get for our journey. It'll allow the whole party to walk in the dream of other dream circles. I'm sure it'll be very useful. So come along, let's go and find it. Okay. Um, let's, uh, can we, like, leave here? No, we cannot leave here. Um, although I probably would like to, like, get these people re-equipped because, um... Yeah, because they're going to be really under-equipped. So one second, I'm just going to go equip these guys real quick. Okay, so I've just set up my party's equipment. It's nothing too special. Um, just something to kind of try to keep them alive in here. Uh, and I just gave them the kind of the same uh, inventory that all my other party members had. So And then also, 
just in this just for the sake of like variety i gave gloria the pole mace uh so when she when she finally uh masters all the stuff from her earth staff here then she'll be able to also learn uh, damage plus 20. so that's pretty good martha will get uh, a little bit ahead of the other party members in this cave but that's all right let's uh i hope the monsters aren't too devastating in here because these guys are very under leveled like level 12 level 9 12 and 15 like way less than Mardek. Or, I don't know, maybe that's normal at this point in the game. I did grow, like, as you guys know, I did get really high leveled. Uh, let's see what's in here, though. Okay, these guys are, like, super high leveled, though. Uh, Forgotten Face. Okay, they take a lot of damage from Spectral. I don't know if we can do any Spectral damage. Uh, and these Whims also take damage from Spectral. And they have really high defense and magical def Oh, the low magical defense, though. Uh, increases all damage from magical attacks. Let's put that on, like... Oh. Put it on Gloria, though. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, let's try Solar Flare on one of these guys. Okay, well, that does a lot of damage, I guess. Uh, oh, actually, I want to see if this can if this works on Marduk. That does work. So I can master that uh, damage plus 20 with just uh, healing. Oh, whoa, that was really weird. That's a lot of stuff on, on her all of a sudden. I think I'm just going to keep casting that. Alright, get rid of this guy. I think I'm going to have to heal with Marduk. Or rather, uh, remove Taint. And that also works. Perfect. That removes her curse. And that does some figgy damage. Oh, alright, well Gloria did attack, but uh, wrong thing. Alright, well I guess, uh, I guess Solar is going to be uh, doing a lot of damage here. Sounds pretty good. Big essence. Uh, do I have a liquid sound? I do, but not very many of them, so we're gonna have to use those sort of sparingly, I think. Oh, okay, so there's two gates there, so I did go the right way. So what do we want? We want like a like an amethyst gate and like an emerald gate. Okay. This is like a super like super weird visuals. Oh, um, wait, hold on. That's oh, okay. I see. So to get through. I see. So that's probably the final area of. Oh, whoa! Are those two? Are those? Can we just pick up dreamstones? Those are just. Those are dreamstones, I think. Oh, oh no! Those are chests. The talisman of Oniros, a little idol of Oniros the Dreamweaver, which is enchanted to allow even the uninitiated to walk in the dream realm. With any of your use, with any within your possession, any of your allies can use dream circles. Very cool. Uh, but like, how do we get over here though? I feel like maybe what would happen in, in these dreamstone areas. Oh, we got a pixie with a lot of stuff. Oh my gosh. Adelgas. And confuses all of us, except for Elwyn, apparently. Um, let's take a look. Okay, so he's... Okay, that looks like it's going to be tough. Not so high of physical defense, though, so I can probably just attack him. Um, oh, okay, well, okay, that's not too bad. Although he does have... Never mind. <coughs> Man, this guy's got a lot of like weird stuff. Oh, I didn't. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, let's try uh, Gloria stuff. She's got heal, which cure. Okay, bark skin, uh, defense. Cool. Okay, I want to try this. Zero damage. Fantastic. The vitality was lowered. That should. Oh boy, this is like really devastating. Uh, that should have lowered his attack, I think, but I'm not sure. Oh, we can we can uh, target with this pleasant, or we can full heal with this pleasant sunbeam. Wow, that's a lot of healing. That's way more than Marduk. Yeah, unconfused Marduk. That's it. Can I just like? No, I guess not. Um, just attack? No. <laughs> this is weird. Okay, now uh, Ellen is back, so we can play Siren Song with her. Can we do something with Solar Flare? I bet this is going to do zero. No, it did 183. Okay. Need to finish this real quick. Pixie Flame, don't. Don't do it to me. He's silent. That's all right. Just... Oh, stop. Att kill him, Marduk. Uh, can we just, like, attack? Okay. No. Nope. Attacking does zero. Oh, my God. This is a really annoying battle. Uh, let's do Siren Song again. Okay, good. Solar, finish him off. Yeah, there we go. 
Oh, that was a lot of XP. Got pixie dust. Oh, we need pixie dust. Yeah, we just needed one pixie dust. Sorry, I, I was away from my microphone there. We just needed one pixie dust. That's really, really good. Um, okay, sweet. So that means that we don't need to grab that anymore. I wonder if that was a rare enemy uh, to encounter in here. I, I, I bet it is. I'm glad that uh, I found that right now. So, like I was saying before, I bet if we find an emerald switch in another dream realm that it will work with this one as well. That'd be cool. Okay, that was just another forgotten face. Nothing we haven't seen already. Um, so I'm going to make my way back out of, uh, of the fig dimension here, and I think I'm going to end off the episode there. So, in this episode, uh, we got Gloria and Elwyn to join our party, and we also got that really cool thing that allows all of us, this talisman of Oniros here, uh, that allows all of us to go into the fig dimension. So I think we'll definitely be using that. Uh, I like all these characters. They're really, really cool, but I don't think that um, I will be uh, using them in battle. Maybe if there's some story events that require them, I'll bring them out, just like I did with Gloria and Elwyn. But... Uh, we'll see in the future episodes. So until next time, I hope you guys are having a great day and peace off.